Hey twins, it's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your energy update. For those of you guys who are dealing with your twin flame, this certainly could hit home for you. If it resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, so we're going to get some messages. I have a few Oracle decks here, and I have some tarot cards, okay? Um, if you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. I also have a sale going on for Labor Day, 10% off of everything from my personal readings to my tarot, oracle decks, my spiritual jewelry, so check it out if you're interested, okay? So let's jump right in. We're going to look at your energy um, and your person's energy, okay? <clears throat> so we have the prison wharf. Um, it says self-sabotage, poverty consciousness. So there's that energy of your person feeling like they've sabotaged something here. There's the energy of that five of pentacles energy in tarot, right? Feeling at a loss, feeling in this place of lack. Um, but also I'm seeing your person is feeling as if they're the ones who have sabotaged something, right? They're realizing and recognizing they are the reason why things are not going well in their life. So your person is now feeling as if they've sabotaged something good. Um, You know, they're realizing that what you and them had was something good because now they don't have it and now they're feeling in prison. Now they're feeling um, in poverty, right? That poverty card is feeling in a lack, feeling um at a loss, feeling abandoned, feeling neglected. So... Let's see what else we need to know. Okay, we have the dream walker. Okay, so there's something about you and your twin connecting in the dream state. Okay, so there's something about in the, in the 5D dimension, you may be having a lot of vivid dreams about your person right now. And it's really because you and your person are dreaming together, right? It doesn't have to be the same time, but it's like you guys are dreaming of each other, connecting with each other, talking, having these twin flame conversations, okay? And I'm getting your person was like living a lie. There was some illusions here. There was something here that they were living in this fantasy thinking that, oh, this uh, relationship had to be a certain way. Um, they were living in a, in a fantasy world. That's what I'm feeling. It's kind of like the moon energy where things weren't very clear. Things were very clouded to this person. And they may have had this idea that, oh, relationship's supposed to be a certain way. Um, but it turned out that this was in their head. This was just illusions that they created. So let me see what else we need to know. We have the hungry ghost, the hungry ghost, obsessions, scarcity, consciousness, attachment. So now we have the energy of your person feeling hungry, wanting you. There's the energy of them feeling that you know, when you're in a ghost energy, you're in this place of where you're not connected, right? You're, you're um, a lost soul, right? Think about it. Ghosts are kind of like lost souls. So this is your person now hungry. Now they're feeling there's something missing in their life, kind of again, like that five of pentacles energy, that prison wave, where they're now um, feeling like there's something scarce. There's something that's not there. They are um, at a loss, okay? Obsession. So we have your person obsessively thinking of you, feeling um, alone. I'm getting very miserable, okay? And they're they're wanting to now attach to you. There's something about them being hungry for your love, being hungry for your touch, being hungry for your attention. And this is someone who may have certainly pushed you away, right? They may have pushed you away and, and said, you know what? I don't, I don't need you. I'm fine all by myself. So let's see what else we need to know. We have uh, the Phoenix here, okay? Let's get a few more cards out. The metal king came out. And the desert prince. Okay, so we do have the phoenix. So the phoenix is known to be, um, you know, big, big change. It's, it's marked with some kind of big transformation. And in this card, it says resurrection, surrender to change. So now we have the energy of your person realizing that they have to change their ways. There's something that they have to do different because they're constantly making bad decisions bad judgment calls and it's leaving them in this place of lack it's leaving them in this place of feeling alone okay that lonely soul energy so now we have the phoenix so something changing within your person there may be some kind of awakening wake up call that now they're wanting to surrender and when we hear the word surrender it's literally about letting go of control issues not wanting to try to um, push this connection in one particular way, just kind of going with the flow. And I'm feeling like your person did not want to do that, right? They was 
existed. They felt you. They did not want to surrender to this connection, to what this connection, where it was going, where it was moving toward. And so we have a big, big resurrection here where there's an energy of if something here came to an end, there's the energy of wanting it to be uh, uh re, re resurrected wanting it to come back wanting it to be revisited right someone's hungry for your love your attention hungry for your soul <laughs> so let's see we also have the metal king so i'm getting someone is dealing with someone who's very closed off we kind of think of like the armor energy where someone is blocked um guarded okay we have armor you guard it you have a lot of defenses up and your person pushed you away i'm getting this is the energy of their um setting really setting boundaries okay i'm getting this is your person who may have set boundaries in this connection maybe even way before they met you you know there's something here where this person didn't want you to get too close okay and this is something here that they were trying to control they were trying to control um how you know close they get to people they may have not been ready to fall in love and i'm getting when they met you you know they just they wanted to give in. There's something here they wanted to give in, but they, they had these boundaries that they set. So I'm getting that you, you're dealing with someone who already had this idea that they would never let someone get too close to them. And, um, and again, this could have been something here that, you know, they always felt. Maybe they, they went through something in childhood and um, it's telling me they had this armor, okay, armor that that really didn't allow people to get too close, okay? I'm getting just that surface level, okay? And so, yeah, they could have pushed you away. And a lot of you guys, you felt that they didn't want you. You felt this person um, didn't care about you. But really, it's because there was some kind of blockage here, right? They weren't open to love. They weren't vulnerable and because of that armor. So I'm getting a lot of you guys with something about them having to take down that armor, be willing to um, surrender and see, allow you to see them for who they truly are. And that is something that they didn't want you to see because of that armor, right? That's that level or layer of protection. That's that protection for them. So we also have the Desert Prince. The Desert Prince, it says survival, false promises. Okay. So I'm getting that your person, um, you know, now they're in this energy of, they're, they're in this energy of feeling, again, in a lack, but now we have them trying to survive, right? They're in a desert that you think of like the desert, there's no food, there's no water, there's nothing but sun, and you have a lot of time to think, think, think about your life, think about all the decisions you made and where it has gotten you, and now we have your person feeling like, They've been promised so much in life or there was some promises that they may have made to you. And now they're realizing that a lot of the things that they wanted, you know, it, it's never come to them because I'm getting a lot of you guys, they have been living in this energy of thinking that they can give very little or bare minimum and they'll get something in return, right? But now they're realizing that they can't, right? And a lot of you guys, there were promises they made to you that they never lived it. They never... Um, I'm getting, they, they made promises that they couldn't keep, right? And so we have the energy of the person trying to survive, feeling lost and really trying to move forward, trying to push forward through this um, desert energy, desert-like um, energy here. So your person's feeling lost, they're in a desert, they're at a loss, they're, they're feeling, um, you know, they're thirsty for your love, they're hungry, okay, for your attention. So there's there's a lot going on here in your person's energy. They're going through a lot. I'm getting, this is um something that they're living um, right now, okay, in a current energy. So let's see what else we need to know. Any more oracle cards here? So that was from, um, just so y'all know, some of the decks I'm using. Um, this was from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. And right now I'm using the Dark Mirror, okay? <laughs> A lot of heavy energy here. <laughs> Don't y'all love it? Hope you guys are doing well today. All right, let's see if you we have the Anger and Kate, Anger and Chains. Any other messages? We have um, Calling the Storm, Calling the Storm, Bride in a Cage, I Won't Cry for You, Naked Before the Stars. Okay, now, let's jump right in. So, 
Um, first out is anger and chain. So your person is feeling chained up. You think of like the Eight of Swords energy. They're tied, they're chained, they're, they're stuck in their head. A lot of mental conflict. Um, they're fighting something here, right? There's a lot of internal conflict with this um, anger and chains energy. And it's making them angry. I'm getting they're angry at themselves, okay? They're angry at themselves at themselves what they put themselves through, okay? The decisions that they made because they're realizing, again, if I had done this, maybe I wouldn't be here, right? And so there's the energy of them fighting and resisting and not wanting to feel this way and trying to break free with that with that chain energy. So your person is feeling tied and bound to something. Um, again, that prison prison waif energy, right? They, they caused um, something here and they sabotaged their life. So we have calling the storm, Okay, so your person has called in a storm. This is like the tower moment, right? This is like energy of they created this tower moment, okay? They, they've been calling this storm and it's now finally here. Now it brings destruction, it brings chaos, it brings drama, misery to their life. And now they're having to deal with it. Now your person is having to go through the storm, and survive the storm, right? So now that's why they're in survival mode because your person has been calling the storm, not acting right, being reckless, okay? Abandoning you, treating you horribly. They've been calling a storm and this has been going on for some time. And I'm getting finally, finally they're in the storm and now they're living in the storm and they're now having to survive and get out of the storm. So your person is going through a lot, but I'm getting these tragedies is, is their own doings, okay? So we have, I won't cry for you, okay? So your person has a difficult time expressing their feelings, expressing their emotions. This is someone who wants to cry, but they're they're trying to act all big and tough. I'm getting the energy that they don't want to shed a tear. They don't want to shed a tear. But really what you're seeing um, underneath it all is their person, they have a lot of deep emotions and feelings, right? They feel bad. They feel sad. They want to cry. Um, but they're saying, no, I won't cry. I won't cry. I won't cry for you, right? Um, but they really do. And that perhaps... Is something they really need to do because crying is so cleansing, right? It will allow them to let go of something that they've been holding in, they've been hostage to, of the, the fears, the hurt. Um, so your person is standing really strong and saying, I won't cry, I won't cry, okay? But there's a lot of hurt because we have blood um, coming from this woman's eyes, okay? So someone is definitely wanting to cry. But I'm getting it, it looks like it's a sign of weakness to them. So I'm getting your person is afraid to uh, shed a tear here. We have bride in a cage, bride in a cage. Okay, so some of you guys I'm getting, they certainly look to you as their bride, someone that they wanted to marry one day, okay? Um, male or female, doesn't matter. They, they were thinking about marriage or thinking about maybe moving forward, but for some reason I'm getting they never popped the question or they popped the question and then it ended and it could end it tragically. There's something about they actually wanted to be married, but now they're feeling hostage to that idea. There's something that they... They looked at marriage in a way that may have been toxic, may have been um, not healthy, not good. They may have saw it as like a death sentence, okay? <laughs> as if like they got married and that was it. That was it for the rest of their life, right? They made a sacrifice and they would never be able to um, live the life that they wanted. So there's something about them being in a cage if they were to marry. And it's not that they didn't want to marry you, but they felt marriage would be literally the end of them. And so they didn't want to be in this cage, like a, a caged bird stuck to um, you or, you know, stuck to a, a married, you know, in a marriage. Okay. Essentially, they're looking at um, marriage as a cage, right? I don't want to be stuck. I don't, I don't want to be, I want to be set free. I want to do things whenever I want to do it. So that is something your person's battling. There's something maybe about commitment and moving to the next step with marriage. Now we have naked before the stars, okay? Naked before the stars. You know, I'm really feeling like some of you guys, there was something about, there was some fidelity issues here. I'm getting there could have been a person here um, that interfered in this connection, could have been a mistress or a third party. And it's something about, they like the attention, okay? That star energy, they like um Attention, fame, stardom. There's something about them feeling special uh, if they had someone else's um, attention and love. I do feel this is someone who may have cheated on you or may have stepped out of this relationship one or two times and getting more than one time. And um, it's because they felt there's something here about them not having to be vulnerable with that person, okay? They they had to be vulnerable with you. At least you challenged them to be vulnerable with you. But there's something about them being with this other person that, um, you know, they just 
could enjoy the moment, right? It could have been very much physical and very passionate only, but there was really no strong emotional connection. And that's what they liked because they didn't have to get naked, right? They didn't have to get naked. Naked as in being vulnerable, right? Letting this person really see who they were. And so that's why some of you guys, they had these other people that they were dealing with. There was um, third parties. There was mistresses or whatnot, okay? So let's get some other messages here. All right. Let me get a few shuffles here. If this resonates for you guys, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? <laughs> All right, we have the action card, okay? So let's let's get a few cards out here. Storm warning. Financial constraints. Broken heart came out in reverse here. And we have strategy. Okay, so we have your, your person wanting to take some action towards you. The action card is, is wanting to move forward, wanting to um, reach out. This could be them, you know, coming to you. There's something about them wanting to take action now, not wanting to be in this place in a desert, right, with these boundaries that are set. They don't want to be in a storm anymore. We have the storm coming out twice, calling the storm and storm warning. So now that the storm is here, your person, it, it's like a warning to them. It's telling them, okay, now I have to do something. So this tower moment whatever they're going through right now they have to go through this because if they didn't go through this they would not spark a change within them it would not bring forth this phoenix energy and it's because your person is going through this really difficult time right now that they're now saying you know what i gotta change i gotta do things differently so this is a warning to your person it's like hey you gotta you gotta act better you gotta treat people right okay you can't be living this life all right. So there's something about them being warned, warned now that they can't keep doing what they're doing because they're going to keep reliving this storm and hell. I mean, they don't want to live this storm is what it's telling me. We have some financial constraints. So this storm can also bring forth a lot of financial insecurities. I'm getting maybe they've lost their job. There may be something here that came up that requires a lot of money. Um, they may have lost their savings There's something here about they're going through some kind of financial constraints right now. And that may be why we have that impoverished energy right we have that prison wave where some of you guys they may be feeling like a prison because now they don't have the money to do some of the things that they want to do to travel to uh, buy a new car or something like there's something about them not having enough okay we also have the broken heart so there are something here about there's some healing taking place obviously it came out in reverse but it's telling me that they're also broken there's something about them feeling broken and that's why a lot of you guys are saying i don't i don't want to cry for you i won't cry for you but really they are broken inside okay they're, they're in this broken place and that is why a lot of you guys you are in separation because two broken people <laughs> that's not going to do any good a lot of you guys you're broken because they broke you right they hurt you they abandoned you they disappointed you big time and you're healing your heart chakra. But this is someone who may have had some broken pieces, broken heart, uh, shattered heart way before they even came into this connection with you. So there's something about them really spending time to heal their broken heart. We have healing of the heart chakra here and we have strategy. Okay, so there's something about your person now strategizing, now thinking right in the past. Maybe they weren't thinking about, you know, what if I do this, what will happen? Now they're strategizing. We have someone who wants to take action, strategizing to how they can better themselves, how they can get out of this uh, impoverished energy, right? Desert, um, desert energy here. So there's something about your person now strategizing. Let's get some more tarot cards for you guys. Let's see what else we need to know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do have some extended uh, readings on Vimeo, so do check them out if you have not already okay i'll leave the link in the description box okay any other messages we have the page of swords in verse so i do see your person um still having issues with communicating with you there's the energy of them holding back but also still watching you and lurking trying to gather information that's part of that strategy card right they're strategizing on what can i do now how do i reach out to my person what can i what do i say how do i go about it so there's something about them strategizing to take action towards you 
we have the eight of pentacles okay so this is um there's something regarding money there's something regarding their stability and right now it's telling me if they are going through some kind of financial constraint some issues regarding money now they're trying to rebuild it like right? the eight of pentacles is spending a lot of time at work working overtime, working long hours, maybe trying to get another job. They're putting their their um, energy, their efforts into um, really making more money to be more financially secure. So that is something that they're going through right now. Any other messages for this person? And the extended readings, it's really going to look at your person's feelings, emotions, what's going on behind the scenes, okay, a little bit deeper. And um, how do they want to come towards you, okay? And that's and it also includes some unspoken love messages and unrevealed um thoughts and secrets of your person now we have the four of swords in reverse so during this time of separation because the four of swords is where you're in you're separated right you're you're spending time alone there's some conflict here with the four of swords anything with the swords has to deal with our mental energy and there's something about your person um pulling back being silent not wanting to speak but they're very stressed out okay there's a lot of stress here and anxiety with this four of swords and that is really because again they're going through some kind of storm and it's really making them uncomfortable it's um they're in this place of great mental turmoil and last but not least we have the emperor so there is an energy of wanting to rise up, okay? Wanting to be this strong person for you, right? I won't cry for you. I won't shed a tear. This emperor is someone who really wants to make better decisions now. Emperors typically take action, right? We have the action card. So they're not only wanting to make better decisions, but they're wanting to take action towards you. They're wanting to make better decisions. They want to be that provider, that protector for you. They know they have to get themselves together. They know they have to be financially stable. Um, they can't talk right now, but they're strategize on how they can be this emperor and come forward okay so my twins that is what i have for you guys please do like share comment and subscribe i love to have you on this channel you all you also know i have my other channel right serendipity tarot where i do all the love readings for all the zodiac signs so be sure to check out your sun moon rising and venus on that channel as well as well as your twin to get some additional messages if you desire all right so i'm really trying to come back on this channel you guys i'm be sure to um subscribe and hit that notification bell okay because i am trying to upload more regularly for you guys and i hope you enjoy it okay so you all take care and stay safe <laughs> bye